All right, I just want to give a little kind of rundown, a quick rundown here on this uh, radio that I picked up. This is going to go into the wife's car. She doesn't want it looking very hammy, so to speak. And, but I want her to have uh, something to monitor, ham radio repeaters, and also my GMRS repeater. Uh, so this was the compromise. You kind of get the idea here. All your controls, speaker, mic, everything's in the, in the microphone there. And the little uh, unit can sit under a seat or in a trunk or, or whatever. Um, this is the NESECUWP9900 which is pretty dang similar. It's pretty much the same thing as the uh, BTEC uh, GMRS uh, 20V2. Uh, these are supposed to be 20, 25 watts. Um, I don't know if the BTEC version can be uh, unlocked, so to speak, for ham use. That's why I picked this one up, because I knew it was open. Um, you can see the unit itself here. Sorry, my ham shack is a disaster. Uh, very small compared to my hand here. Uh, and I'm just running that right now off of a cigarette lighter adapter. Um, and here's the head unit or the uh, microphone control unit itself. Hopefully that's coming in. Uh, let me just kick that on. Pretty nice little screen. Uh, the plastic on the screen doesn't seem like, it seems like it'll scratch up, but uh, it is what it is. All your controls are here. Uh, volume's kind of a pain, but uh, you've got a couple of buttons up here. The speaker's pretty loud. The mic, uh, every report I read said it was muffled, and so I've drilled the mic out to hold out a little bit there, um, and it seems to work fairly decent. I mean, it's not a Yesu, but it is what it is. Uh, you see I've got uh, WRKY482, that's my GMRS repeater. Uh, W5NFL, that's a local uh, ham radio, two meter, and then uh, simplex uh, frequency there. I've got this set up to uh, monitor all three uh, at the same time. Uh, but you can see that I'm highlighted on the uh, GMRS side. And we'll just do a quick little test here. I'm connected to a Tram 1481 uh, with about 60 feet of coax, some LMR 400. Uh, uh, so I've got some losses and the antenna is obviously not tuned for GMRS. So you'll see the high SWR. But just to give you an idea of the power output in this combination, WRKY482 testing 12313. One, two, so you see we're getting about 12 and a half watts or so at a 1.92 uh, uh, SWR. If I go over to the ham radio repeater here, we'll do this again. W5KFX, W5KFX, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. And you can see we're getting almost six. That was nice. Uh, so uh, getting almost 16 watts, much lower SWR because the tram is a uh, two meter 440 antenna. It's not designed for GMRS, uh, uh, more wide banded antenna. You're probably gonna get better results. I'm gonna try this with the Comet uh, wide band, the search and rescue version. That's what I run in my truck and it does pretty day well. But uh, yeah, this so far uh, programming was easy with Chirp. Um, uh, only thing I don't really like about it so far is the volume control. Haven't quite figured that out. Uh, the easiest way to do it, there's a couple, three ways to do it. Um, it's got this little battery indicator, but there's no actual battery. So that's odd. It must be, I don't know, the display must be coming from some other radio. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward uh, radio. Uh, like I said, you, I, I wouldn't count on any more than maybe 20 watts if you have the right antenna set up, but uh, it is open and it does work on uh, on the uh, frequency, uh, GMRS and the uh, ham radio 2 meter. I have not tried it on 440, but I have no reason to believe it won't work. So uh, hopefully uh, that gives you some idea of what to expect uh, from the uh, NESEC UWP9900. I'll try to follow this up when I actually get it installed in the car. I'm going to have two different antenna configurations, one for road trips and one for just putting around town. Uh, and that's going to be a window pass through. So it's going to be even worse, uh, antenna setup, but we'll see what it does. I hope this helps W5 KFX 73.